Santa Monica Update, your source for local news in Santa Monica. Santa Monica drivers have all been there. You find the perfect parking spot, you know the one, right in front, and you back it in, throw it in park, and realize you don't have change to put in the meter. But now, no coins, no problem. The city is unveiling 6,100 brand new solar-powered parking meters to put the frustration of fumbling for change to feed the meter in the rearview mirror. Reporter Ned Rolsma has more. Ooh, there's a spot. Just gotta feed the meter. I only have cards. Do you have any change? You mean you don't have any change? Wouldn't it be cool if we had the option to pay for parking with a card if we had no coin? Well, now we can. Santa Monica just installed more than 6,000 of these brand new, state-of-the-art curbside parking meters all over town, every spot. No more fumbling for coins. Whoops. Oh man, I hate when that happens. Let me just get these. In the meantime, here's city parking manager Frank Ching, who says converting to these newer meters was ultimately a matter of dollars and cents. The major reason why we, we convert the parking meter to the, from the conversion meter to the new parking meter is first of all, their critical acceptance. Who really wants to carry coins to pay for parking meters nowadays, right? They accept credit card, they say Visa, Master, and also American Express and Discovery. Um, in addition to that, uh, Santa Monica cards still working on our new parking meters, and of course, we always will take coins. Oh, well, it's good to know you still can. You could argue that pulling into a spot and throwing a coin in the meter still might be faster than swiping a card and pressing buttons. Done. There's also a pay-by-phone option that sends you a text when time is running out. That way, you can add more time without going back to the spot. The key word is convenience, and not just for the customer. These meters are easier to operate and maintain. They're solar powered and sustainable. Rates and times can be remotely programmed, and they're reliable. So what means is if, if there's any coin jams or any uh, malfunction on the parking meters, it will automatically send a text message uh, to our parking meter techs uh, that, in, uh, that always circulate working in town and they will find out where to, uh, where to fix the meter immediately instead of we have to wait until the general public notify us. It gives us more flexibility and efficiency in operating it. Um, let's say if, if we have to reserve a parking space for any construction reason and no parking for the next day, we can also remotely program it. We can constantly um, keep capturing all the data on our parking data more efficiently and come up with better plan on parking, come up with better event planning on our parking. And like I said, in the future, we will be able to develop a parking website to help people to find parking space. Actually, about two years in the future, after the city installs underground space sensors that'll provide real-time parking data for on-street spaces citywide. Finding a parking spot in Santa Monica will be even easier. Now that's change that makes sense. For Santa Monica Update, I'm Ned Rolsma. Well, that's it for this edition of Santa Monica Update. I'm Kina Chin, and for all of us at City TV, thanks for watching.